that being said, we just ate a lot of ice cream. It's time to hook up with Craig, maybe. Oh boy, this is gonna go interestingly. All right, so again, all right, so let's do this. Let's, let's hang out with Mr. Craig. Um, car, good cardio, energy bar, six minute mile, beer pong, uh, dangerous mountains for fun, energy gel. Okay. Let's hang out with Craig. All right. Managing debt is just part of being an adult. I wonder what Craig's up to today. I navigate to his dad bug page and type out a message. Hey bro, or should I say neighbor, let's catch up. Couple moments pass before I hear a ding. It's a message from Craig, that was quick. Bro, my man, let's definitely hang soon. Might be a little different from our old weekend long benders, but it'll still be fun. I think for a moment this would be a fun opportunity to see my old buddy in his new element. We exchange a couple more messages and he logs off to prep for the game. The game? I should see if Amanda wants to join. I walk her to her room and knock on the door. <laughs> no, Amanda Panda. I open the door and find Amanda cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece. What you working on? Just a collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. I take a closer look. That's a lot of dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's mostly dogs. Did you need something? Um, Craig invited us to a softball game. Do you want to go? Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you thought me and all the gear and then you took me and then you bought me all the gear and you took me to the first game and then someone hit a ball toward me and I just ran out of the field crying? And then you hid in the dugout and you would scream if I tried to pick you up. Yeah, I remember. I was afraid of baseball. I thought you were a gigantic sentient softball. <laughs> so does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks at me dead in the eye determined. I'm ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this. <laughs> Amanda and I make the short drive out to the softball field. For a kid's game, it's packed. We clamor. Clamor? Clamber? That's a word I don't hear very often. Clamber? We clamber up the, ble the bleachers and take our seats on the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. So, when did the kids start crying and running? You know that your relationship with softball is different from everybody else's relationship with softball, right? <sighs> but if some kids, if I don't see some kids cry, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. For nostalgia purposes, of course. Uh, not, not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. Definitely not that. <laughs> the game starts and the kids run onto the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a quipboard. He has river strapped to his chest. As per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jack, jumping flapjacks. I get it. I get it. Jumping flapjacks. Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I see that it's the Maple Bee Flapjacks. <laughs> yep. Against the Pinewood Ocelots. Go Flapjacks! Oh, Chug up on the bat, Miranda! Yes, Miranda, square up! How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that if the balls are relatively hard, despite their name. <sighs> Amanda Panda, you are sage, you are wise, well beyond your years. But yelling's fun! Give it a shot, it's cathartic! Keep your eye on the ball! What's important is that you're having fun! What are you willing to sacrifice to win? <laughs> oh no. <coughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna try and. What's important is that you're having fun. Go friendship and kindness. Yeah, go friendship and kindness. Dad, you could kick it up a notch. Maybe throw some spice on that papaya. Uh, sure thing, honey. I believe in you, Miranda. We watch a couple innings of softball. They, they're, they're not ready for the major leagues yet, but Craig's trained the team pretty well. It seems like he's really good with kids. Keg stand Craig is good with children. Whoa. It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off of the field crying yet. Amanda, you have to let it go. Let what go? I'm fine! The opposing team is up at bat. 
They let a fly ball out in the center field. The tiny girl tries to get under the ball, but it misses her glove and it hits her in the forehead. <gasps> you see, it is a completely unjustifiable fear. The girl plops down on the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her. <coughs> checking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off the field as she, sho as she sobs. Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who backflipped off a roof into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's responsible now. The game resume after the girl calms down a bit and we watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth. The ocelots seem to have given up. I see one outfielder eating fistfuls of grass. A batter on the other team knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the trajectory and... Oh no! It is coming right for me. Oh no 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 no. I close my eyes and brace for impact. I open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the softball. Staring at it in amazement. I caught the ball. You saved me. I caught the ball, Dad. You did it, Amanda. I faced my fears and I defeated the softball. I can do anything. Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else watching would really understand. I am so proud of you, kiddo. The game ends and Craig's team are to the victors. We sit patiently. <sighs> As the girls line up to shake hands. Ah, oh, great job, everyone. We walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the parents. Craig, great work, man. Thanks. We've been working hard all season. It's great to see you paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? Yes. Yes, again, this is what happens when you do things out of sequence, because we went to their tea party, and everybody had a wonderful time. And so I don't know why, you know, you know because not everyone's going to see all the things. Oh, hey, killer playing out there. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you. You guys are twins, huh? Which one of you is the evil one? Hazel. Yeah, it's me. Good looking out. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? Like, I don't have a twin, but I think I, if I did that, I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all of our math tests. And I usually throw rocks and stuff when people get mad, and I just and I tell them I'm Briar. What? <laughs> oh, we, we, we'll, we'll talk about this later. Charlie, bro, I just got a couple more things to clean up, then we can hang. Sounds good. And just then one of the mom jumps into the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. I don't know if I can. No, it says the girls won. What sort of celebration could we have without our fearless later? Uh, she lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him the goo goo eyes. Oh, she's laying it on thick. Amanda and I share a look. All right, all right, all right. Is it cool if my bro comes along? Uh, the mom looks slightly put out, but covers it up with a smile. Of course. Where are we going? Thirsties? What? What? It's a real place. An endless stream of, of girls clad in softball gear pile out of a minivan and into a local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Amanda and I trail behind them with Craig. Oh man, reminds me of all the awful pizza we got into our bodies back in the day. Remember how we used to just fold the whole pies in half and then we put taco stuff inside? Ah, uh, the pizza course. I can never forget. How did we survive college? Our bodies were, were younger back then, more elastic, more able to handle the toxic waste that we put inside of us. Ah, the good old days. The kids run around playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple slices of mediocre pizza. Hey, give me a pizza, that! No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I'm, eating, I'm strictly eating salad here. Thanks for uh, addressing the issue, Amanda. <laughs> Dad. A different mom walks to us talking to Craig as if we're not even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day about how great you are. Oh, I'm so happy to look. Oh, oh I'm happy to look after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. 
Ah, oh, man and I look at each other again. Craig gets it from all angles, huh? Craig smiles sheepishly. Ah, oh, thank you so much, uh, dude. <laughs> Craig holds his fist for a fist bump from the mom in what I think is a maneuver too light in the conversation. He is super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. No, I'm not gonna smoke screen. I mean, are we? Are we? Um. Oh jeez. Let's let's let's, let's uh, both Amanda and I know what's happening here. We need to tag team this. I give Amanda another knowing look, and she hits me at me with a nod. She understands. Amanda puts a hand to her stomach and looks at me with puppy dog eyes. Aw, oh, Dad, I don't feel so good. I think I ate too much pizza. Oh no, sweetie, you're not gonna project projectile vomit everywhere, are you? I think I'm going to project projectile vomit everywhere right now. The words projectile vomit and right now usually seem to get everyone to clear out, but Martha's not budging. Oh, back it up, Martha, you're in the splash zone. I drank a lot of orange juice this morning and it's feeling really acidic. Oh, you'll be fine. Amanda shoots me a world work. This con is going sideways. I should have known a mom of all people would know the fake puke scam. Oh, I guess it went away fine and now, now, now nothing's wrong. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. So I'm taking his on Briar, Briar tonight for the sleepover. Yep, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course, but I would always use help after watching everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Wow. <laughs> It'll actually be nice to have a night to myself in River, but I appreciate the invite. Thank you. Uh, Martha, you might want to go grab your child. She is stuffing pizza into a coin slot. Oh, Martha angrily turns her attention toward her daughter. Tiffany! Not another arcade machine! I swear if I have to buy Martha Storms off towards your kid. Oh, she seems nice. Yeah, that team is one big weird family. Takes all sorts, right? Tiffany! Don't eat the tokens! Tiffany's, Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Huh, I think I finally have time to for Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Only on days like today. I hope. Dad! Oh. Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record on DDR? I, okay, yes, I am a fan of the girls already. We told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on the dance mat. Please help. Girl, girl, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. Oh man, if this is a DDR minigame, I am so on this. I am so on this. I was bored for this. But Ted, uh, Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. Uh, s s sorry, dudes. D duty calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. Craig runs off with his daughters, and I am left alone with mine. No, I want to do the DDR. <laughs> oh man, I was really hanging, hoping to hang out more with Craig today, but he's getting dragged in every direction like a DDR pad. It was definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be a third wheel here. Eh, there's worse places in an arcade to be left to your own devices. You're right. Want to drop some coin on pinball? No! No pinball! I want the DDR! Amanda and I pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot and got to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then challenge Amanda to top mine. And immediately she gets the multi-ball. <sighs> she does take after her father. You're pretty good. Don't patronize me! Hey, I'm just trying to pay a compliment. Amanda says to me, she's in her zen zone. She fights valiantly, racking up the points by millions. She is this close to beating my score, but I feel honored just being able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? It's Janet from earlier. She walks up and leans on the pinball machine. Uh, yeah, we went to college together. Oh, pl please, don't lean, please don't lean on my thing. Oh, huh, that's so interesting. So, do you know if he's, like, available? Oh, honestly, I don't know if I can say, Seriously, you're gonna make it tilt! Because it just seems like so much work, so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it'd be great if he... Lady, I swear to God, all of a sudden a buzzer sounds and the game is over. Janet made the pinball machine tilt. How dare you, Janet! Damn it, Janet! Whoa. You stone harpy. What? Dad. I said I have to, I, I said I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings, Amanda. Hey. Bro, 
What's going on? Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here now, we're going to be stuck for the rest of the night. I run go Amanda and quickly say and, and some quick goodbyes and say some quick goodbyes with Craig. We head out of the pizza place. Finally. Amanda promises that she will keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, man. Poor Amanda. It's one thing to be to be robbed of the pinball greatness like that, but at the same time, Janet. <sighs> you know that oh, just Janet and all the other moms, they all want the Craig. I uh, hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, bro. Uh, not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. River burps. Well, almost all to myself. Hold up. Craig walks over to the trunk of his car and pulls out two gloves and a softball. Uh, for catch? This is more, this is less catch and more you throwing the ball at me and running after it, but sure. We stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. I have a cooler in my car that we could grab, but there's only juice boxes in there. Man, fatherhood is strange. You're telling me I can't believe I'm looking back on my keg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those were some good times. I don't know if anyone else... I don't know anyone else who could pull off the rare horizontal keg stand. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't hung out with Craig in so long. I don't even know where to begin. Ask about coaching softball. Ask about the business. Ask about the kids. Well, we're literally here playing softball. So, so is softball coach the life you wanted, or was it the life that was thrust upon you? Heh. <laughs> I'll admit I was hesitant at first. Briar and Hazel had so much energy that we just had to get them into sports, but no one was there to run the team. The more I did it, the more I saw how much it meant to the girls, and I'm worried there would be a riot if I quit. I would also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bats. They're quick, and they work as a team. I have trained them too well. Oh, they would take you down like a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex. Uh, exactly. Ask about the business. So, you run a business now? Yeah, we sell fitness gear, imports and exports mostly, but we're coming up with our own line of athleisure wear soon. I nod. I mostly use my sweatpants for TV watching and whatnot, you know, but sweating, sweating, that sounds like he would make a killing. If you ever need athletic gear, I've got your back. You can sponsor me. I'll rub your athleisure wear brand now while, while I mow my lawn. That is the glamorous lifestyle we're catering to, yes. Ask about the kids. I can't believe you're a father of three. Neither can I, you know me. I'm an indecisive person. You switched your major four times. Yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do, but raising kids when Briar and Hazel were born, it all made sense. It was like all the time I had spent trying to figure things out led to them. I couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. I had the exact same feeling when Amanda was born. It was the best thing. It could only, or it could be the only thing that ever happened to me and I would still be proud of the life I lived. It's nice and quiet out here. Must be good to get away from all the softball moms for a bit, huh? Oh, Christ, Janet, Christ, Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. Are they always like that? Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? Peace and quiet. That hot, hot silence. Oh, my ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. But more, more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I wouldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. And I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girl's lives. Uh, they've already been through so much. I can't put them through that. Buddy, I hear you. So, the moms can hit on me all they want, but the girls are my top priority. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Seriously, dude. Those kids love you, and to add that, the whole team loves you. I think you've got this dad thing down right. Ah, uh, thanks, bro. That means a lot coming from you. Well, I'm distracted. I missed the softball, and it hits me on the head. Ow, it hurts. Amanda was right. Ah, uh, sorry, dude. Craig runs over. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. 
Wait, wait, let me do the dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment examining my head. Oh no, it's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it better. Oh, you would be so lucky. <laughs> that was planned, I mean... That was planned, I mean... That was planned. You probably don't teach the more advanced techniques to the Little Leaguers, but Babe Ruth used to catch balls with his teeth all the time. I still got it. <laughs> Maybe they learned in high school. I get up and duff myself off. River yawns. Hey, little buddy, you must be getting a little tired, huh? I hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry things are so... I don't know, you just get older and life gets in the way. We walk back to the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party we went to that got broken up by a helicopter? How could I forget? You and me hopped over a concrete wall to get away, but the other side of the fence is the parking lot, and there were a bunch of cars where a bunch of cops were parked. Yeah. Remember, could you imagine the look on our faces? We just walked straight past them like we were out for a stroll. And not knowing that we were at the party, they just started, jo and they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. We had to talk with them for 30 minutes, and you told them you were interested in joining the academy. And then they started giving me pointers on the exam. Longest 30 minutes ever. Man, college. Good old days, right? We get back to our car. Craig pulls me into a hug, or at least as much of a hug as we can manage with a baby between us. <sighs> Never enough time, huh? Guess not. Let me make it up to you. Let's hang soon, yeah? I like that. I yawn as I walk through the door, spotting Amanda hunched over her col her collage, glue stick in hand, burning the midnight art oil. Ah, I figured I might do something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter lip sync battles. <laughs> do the sharks lip sync or the shark hunters? Yes. <laughs> Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art you made. Aw, oh, thanks. I'm just about done. Like before, it's got a lot, of, a lot of dogs, but in one corner is a giant pile of cash, and in the other, a man does that me. Hmm. Yeah, the whole thing's about my goals for the future, and those are basically just to sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs, and also have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. Oh, oh now you've done it! Get ready to watch your dad cry! <laughs> Here it comes! It's happening! Dad! You did this with your good art! Oh, she pats me on the back. Hey, how was your hang with Craig? Oh, I wipe a tear. It was good. That Craig guy sure is busy. Yeah, dude, the softball life is not for quitters. Also, I am very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? I'm on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. How about tomorrow we hit some empty parking lots and... Parallel parking? Yeah. Baby steps, Dad. I will work my way up to it. Alright, alright. I'm gonna hit the hay. Take care of late night television for me, alright? I'll let them know you said hay. Alright. Oh, flossing. I don't want to floss. I should have played a little more hard to get. Bro, that was awesome. All right, well, it was good to hang out with Craig. All right, that being said, let's you got that. let's see here. I might have exhausted all of the like options and things. That being said, my voice is starting to go. So thank you anybody who managed to pop in, and so. Um, just again, total dates count. One with Craig, two with Matt, one with Brian, one with Robert, two with Damien, one with Hugo, zero with Joseph, and I'm okay with it staying that way. Now, because I was nice and got Mary to walk her, and walk her Mary home, I don't know if that's gonna do something later on or not, but... Regardless, I think... Now, what button is it? Yeah, let's save here. Saving. Good. I was really hoping to play DDR. I was like, if there is a DDR minigame, I've got this. I am so down. But at the same time, they probably can't do that thing because of copyright things. But whatever. All right, so this has been a fun little recording session. Um, again, I don't know how long the game is. Again, my understanding 
my understanding of the game is you can only date somebody three times. That's my understanding of the game. Um, and so, that being said, I want to make sure I exhaust all my other options, the ones that I want to go through, before I jump to that. And so, that being said, chilling with Craig was actually a lot sweeter than I was expecting it to be. Um, there's definitely Brian that I need to hang out with. Hugo, I, nah. I mean, when you've got a kid like Ernest, I'm not feeling you, dude. I mean, not saying that you need a more grounded father figure in your life, and I could be that father figure. That's just getting weird. Anyway. <laughs> Alrighty. So, thank you everybody for watching. This is Augie saying, later. Let's go.